Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven, welcome back to the channel and if this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and make sure to get that bell notification on uh, so you don't miss out on the next episode of the city of New Lancaster. An East Coast Canadian themed city that's definitely the largest city on the East Coast of Canada. Uh, last episode we started to move uh, the garbage facility out of its old location, which was also its first location, uh, as that has now moved into the middle of our city. Um, we also added two new factories out near the Marchand Ranch. Um, and in this episode, we are going to add in uh, a bunch of residential. We're going to and we're going to gentrify um, this area right here. So this was previously a pretty heavy traffic area, and that was in large part due to uh, the garbage facility being here. So we moved it all the way over here and that's fine however we need to add in some other garbage uh, areas as well and we need to reconfigure this so i just noticed that this had a garbage issue so something we can do that's really simple and that's going to help out the area a lot and it's not going to look too bad is just add this in right here it's fantastic it, it looks like it's supposed to be in the area um and it's going to help out the garbage situation over here and these two two new factories we built last time. Um, one other thing I, I wanted to notice, or I, I noticed, is that trucks were having trucks were previously going this way, and all the way down this road we built, and then coming back just to drop stuff off over here from our factory or from our warehouse line over this way. So um, I just shortened that line, and we're going to start out this way, and then we're going to get to the gentrification of that uh, other area. So I'm just going to bring this back to about there and then I'm going to add in a parking lot because so this is something we didn't do last time is this area will obviously need a parking lot it's two major factories so uh, we're just going to draw it in right here and then we're going to connect it up like that and then we're just going to use move it to adjust Oh, I guess there's three nodes in there. Uh, there we go. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Uh, just to adjust to the exact level we need. And then this is going to go over that way. Ah, it's the segment I need. So it's unfortunate that I can't grab it. So let's just uh, press undo. Ah, never mind. Okay. I'm just going to redo this. So I'm just going to destroy that little bit right there. And I think I'm going to try to draw it in this way. Perfect. Okay. That's much better. I'm going to grab the three nodes. Bring it in like that. And just quickly adjust everything we need. All right, so that has to be a gap right there. That's fine though. Perfect spot for a tree or something. Uh, so real quick, I'm just gonna add in those uh, lanes. So actually right here, it's gonna be a bit of an issue because I need them to turn and go straight. So we're just gonna do this and that's fine. Uh, okay, yeah, that works. Uh, and then we're just going to add in uh, what we need. So that is this. And I'm not going to really worry about doing uh, electric vehicle parking and stuff like that. Um, handicap parking because this is just for uh, these businesses. to plop these down as fast as I can yet I'll keep them pretty accurate which uh, can be tricky not gonna lie um, and I guess I'll have to do this one by hand otherwise it's gonna leak off the edge or I can just do this I can just pretend that they don't exist then I just grab this and extend it out Right to there. Okay. And then I'll pull this out as well. 
All right, so now that they have parking, uh, even though it doesn't really matter in the in the real part of the game, but uh, it should improve the look of the space. Get a couple of trees in here. And uh, why don't we give them a nice spot to eat lunch as well? So maybe we'll go to uh, this right here. Oh, that's larger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, let's put it right here. And we'll get a street down this way that we can uh, use for something else at a later date. But that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Um, and yeah, pretty cool factory spot. Who knows what we're going to put out that way. Uh, and I hope this train is working. Yeah, it must be because train uh, trucks are going in. Uh, so that's really great that that's taking stuff out to the uh, larger world. Um, and then this is what we did last time. Um, it's much smaller than we used to have it. Okay, I'm going to take a quick peek at the budget here because that said only two trucks were in use. I mean, garbage should be pretty good. Um, let's take a quick peek at this. Yeah, okay, it's all green. So that's what you're looking for. Like, it's a gray out this way because it's pretty far away. Um, but that's okay. All right, so uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look to add in that factory. So it's not that big. I think it can fit right here. So I'm going to take this road. Just draw it in like that. And then I'm going to grab it, relocate it, and we're going to place it right there. All right. And then um, we're going to kind of complete this area with some of these industrial roads. Oh, sorry, we're not using industrial roads over here. We're using this road. Cool. Okay, we'll drag it out to about there and we'll flip it around, connect it up, and we're just going to use move it very carefully, drag it this way. Okay, and then we'll just connect it up uh, with this one right here. Perfect. I don't know why this road exists. <laughs> we can delete that. Um, that looks great. Okay, and then we can uh, move this. So this is the unique factory products. So again, this should actually be set on empty, uh, but we will move it uh, out this way. Um, I guess we can just place it there. And then these are the products for the factory itself. Now, I don't know if we actually really need it because this... Oh, these aren't empty. Okay, true. Um, all right, so um, that should... I mean, it, look, it looks pretty cool anyways. Um, and it kind of fits the area a bit better too. The next thing is the bus depot. So we're going to relocate this and it might as well go in here as well. I mean, look at that. That's a perfect spot for it. We can say that this is the, the gas for the trucks. And then we can relocate uh, one of these race transfer facilities into uh, this area as well because um, you know, it's already dirty industry. I wonder if this is going to look bad. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we'll relocate that again. Um, we can just plop it right there. Then we have another one of these. So we can relocate this. And maybe we can relocate it into here. Yeah, I mean, that, that works. Um, 
So this is going to dezone anyways. I think we might as well just dezone all of the commercial on this little strip right here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we have like a bit of a sports complex over here, which is pretty cool. Um, and I, I like how it looks. So I think this area is going to end up being more of a residential area just because of of that um, let's get that firehouse right there the taxi depot that's gonna clip in I'm trying to get them all into this oil area because it's dirty industry anyways um, okay and then these recycling facilities as well Just place that down there for now and then last one and we'll move it over this way so that's just gonna barely clip over yeah, why don't we just plop it down right here okay and then the next thing we have is um, the post sorting facility now, we originally built this over here as the first post sorting facility, uh, but I think what we can do is we can, uh, hmm. we could move it, we could leave it, we could move it right here, but I think it needs to be pretty close to the highway. Um, let's just leave it for now, and then let's destroy all these roads in the middle here. I do like this part. Okay, so um, the next thing we're gonna look at is uh, how our transit is looking. So I think this area needs to have a bit of, better of a transit hub. Right now, the only transit hub right here is a bus hub right here. Now, what I'm saying is I think we can have this bus hub, sure. We can also get a second bus hub right over here by this roundabout because it's really close to the oil area. And I think that's going to really help boost everything out this way. So what can we add in over here that's going to do that for us? So I think there's... Here it is, bus metro hub. So this inner city bus hub doesn't have one. It'd be nice if there's inner city metro inner city bus hub. That's perfect because now we can get uh, uh, outside buses out this way too. It's cheaper than the normal bus terminal too. Wow. So the transportation hub designed to guide people to and from the city. Citizens can easily switch in between inner city bus and metro so there isn't a bus station let's just place this down on pause and let's take a look at it i wonder if i can drop uh draw in bus lines here oh, what am i doing buses Yeah, look at that. Okay, cool. So they're all right in there. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, this is for sure going to be a thing. So um, this is something I've been waiting, waiting to do for a long time is I think we can grab a metro and drag it right through here. And maybe we can even continue the metro to this bus hub. And then that's where it'll like turn around. I'm not sure how we're going to do that. But, um, okay, so let's figure out a better plan for this station here. Uh, so we're, we want to get as close as possible at, to the oil facility. So I think what we can do is, hmm, you know what? Maybe like a bus 
road we would be kind of perfect here like a, a bus only road that connects between here and here and will allow like emergency emergency vehicles and stuff as well and then this way people can easily walk over I just don't want people bypassing this area from the roundabout so why don't we start with that so this is bus road you know this might work no 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 let's let's do this from here to here straight line oh that's so cool all right now let's see I don't think we'll be able to fit it on this side yeah but it can definitely go what oh nothing can connect to it that's that's annoying I wonder if they can connect to this one. It can, okay. But what's the point? Because the bus won't be able to go in between the two. Um, we can just put restrictions on the road. Um, let's take um, let's take this one and we'll place it down right in the middle here. That looks to be about the middle. Oh, I'm so excited by this. This is fantastic. Um, and then we can get something else out this way too. What's another hub we could have? So we could want to get it. We could get a taxi stand right here. That's we could get one of both sides. Uh, that'll help the look of it. Uh, I don't think post is what we're looking for. Um, monorail, no, nope, not that kind of city. We could get. We haven't done the helicopters yet. Uh, I don't think we have trams out this way either. No, we don't. Not sure if that's something that a Canadian city would really have out in the suburbs, though. Hmm. Okay, so let's uh, let's look at this bus line, though. Our metro line first. So this metro line will have to go from here, and then it will scooch under the ground, and we'll get a stop right here. Yeah, that works. And a very unrealistic ending to the metro line, to be honest. But I suppose we could get the metro line to go into Umber. So right now we're planning on building it from here. Yeah, why not? It's going to help people get around the city too. Perfect spot. Let's just use move it here. Okay. And then it's going to curve. I might, I might try to do something a little different too. Like, so clearly there needs to be a stop right in here, first of all. Um, where is the bus stop? Bus stop's right here, so let's add that in right there, and let's take out those buildings. Uh, okay, cool, there's a library right behind it too. That's pretty neat. All right, so I think what, we, what would be really cool is if we bring the line up and then 
somewhere we kind of have like a service station. But, you know, I really don't know where we could put that because this is on, a, we can't really get to that spot. Um, I think a tram line here to here might be nice at, at some point. Yeah, that would actually be a really good idea. I don't know. I don't know. That wouldn't be entirely feasible. Um, okay, so I'm just going to stop with that idea for now. And then this is going to go this way. It's going to elevate. Be nice to get a stop out over here, but I think we're going to have to deal with just buses from there. And then we can get a stop in right here. And then where does it connect? So we're going to need a bit of a hub right here, it seems. So, um, unfortunately, slope too steep. Okay, so we could get it to to curve in here. That's fine. And we could get it right there. Okay, let's just let's just destroy this apartment. And let's see what that zoning looks like. Oops. Oh my god, I ruined everything. <laughs> Please don't destroy. Please don't get destroyed. Okay, so you know what? That looks pretty good. People can move back and forth between the two pretty easily. In a way, it's kind of its own little hub. And then we can get uh, this metro line to curve this way. Might as well get a stop out over here. And then we can get one by this bus stop. I think this is the best spot for it right there. And then from there it will connect up here. Okay, sweet. I know these are pretty close together, but um, I wanted it really close to there and I wanted to stop in between, so maybe we don't do this one. Okay, let's just rezone that. Um, and this is not what I planned on doing today, so this is fantastic. I'm really excited about it. Uh, let's get, yeah, let's get it right here. Okay. And then let's zone in. Let's just destroy that one too. Perfect. Okay. We'll see what comes of that. Um, and then let's draw this in. So from here. Okay, let's get the curved road. Oh, okay, no, Tuttle. Perfect. Straight road. Okay, and then from here, we're just going to go straight. And then this is where it's going to get a bit tricky. So we're going to go through the tunnel here. I think we're going to start curving a bit. And then this is where we're going to become elevated. Okay, that's too much though. Hmm.
Let's try doing that. And then we're going to curve in right here. And you know what? I'm not sure if this is going to work. Maybe we don't do this hub. And instead we make our own hub. So we do this intercity bus bus hub. Yeah. All right, and then from here we will get an elevated metro station. Yeah, we'll get that right there. Okay, and then this will curve in. We're just going to redo that. Okay, and we're just going to connect to there and curve. Okay, so we're at a good angle here. Let's just zoom out so we can all see. Okay, I think that's about where it should be. Perfect. Okay. We're going to need to add in some pillars, but I think that looks great. Other than the wonkiness that is uh, this area. Okay, so we're going to select those two. And we're going to make it that height. And you know what? That looks pretty good. Okay, so we're just going to do a bit of smoothing right here. Um, let's get rid of that. Brush size. Uh, we're actually going to oh, select that. I'm just going to dig this out a bit. Or fill it in, sorry. Okay. So this will have to be lowered. And same here. That's fantastic. Okay. And we're just going to grab this pillar and we're just going to copy it. And we're just going to place it where we need pillars. So theoretically, we would need pillars there, and then uh, pillar there. And we're going to get another one. Right there. OK. That looks awesome. So then this is going to be like a hub onto itself. And then we're going to curve this road. And we're going to go underground. So let's take this. Okay. Uh, not going to work. Oh. Okay. Let's just. Uh, delete what we just did and the idea is that I want it to go underground right here so let's do that okay and then Just raise it up. I think we'll be able to uh, turn snapping off and collision off. Oh, I 
Okay, so this is gonna have to be like this really quickly. And then from here, I'll be able to change it up. So I'm gonna grab this node. So I'm gonna put it on the median here. And I'm just gonna pull this back like that. Very unrealistic, but I think it's really cool looking. And then we're going to pull this one over as well to the median. And we're going to raise it up. Fortunately, these traffic lights are in the way. So I think I might be able to just be able to get this up enough until they disappear. Yeah, okay. And this node is going to have to be at that height. Perfect. And then it's going to curve off of the road here. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> From here, we're gonna go down under. Whoa, okay, that's. Now, I wonder if this is a better idea if we do it on the other side. Because we could just not continue it out and we could just make this the end of the line because this does look a little bit ridiculous. So let's do that instead. We'll look at getting a, a bit larger transit uh, thing in another video probably during the hour-long special that we do every 10 episodes um, and just we'll have to uh, leave this one out for now um, so sorry to all the buildings that I destroyed but you know too bad <laughs> I don't know what else to say um, we're gonna leave that empty okay so this is gonna be the end of a line so we'll get that line in place. Uh, we will start a new line. Goes underground here. Connects up to here. And over to the suburbs, okay. So that line onto itself is going to help out a lot. And then what we can do is we can then grab these bus lines that end over here and drag them over to this. So, um, drag stop to move it. We're going to drag it to there. Drag stop to move it. Gonna do this with all of our lines and then we'll double back on some of them because I think we have a ton of bus lines out this way. Okay, so we might have to do a bit of uh, change up of the bus lines. But um, I'll do that off camera just to manipulate them a bit because, you know, they're, they're really not that important. Um, you've, we've done a lot of bus line videos and I'm just going to leave this for now because we might change it back or change it up or something. But I'm not going to destroy that. Okay, so uh, all those buses should now be going through here. Um, I'm going to put on some restrictions. So 
I believe this is normal cars. So I don't want cars to go down there. And I should not have done it right in the corner there because I don't know if that's going to cause an issue. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind trucks using it as a cut through. You know what? Why does, why does it matter? Uh, we'll get uh, this to be a yield. And we're going to need to do some dedicated turning lanes. Oops. Wrong thing to press. Come on. And dedicated turning lanes. There we go. And there we go. Okay. Oops. That one needs to go like that. So, uh... This might not be the most realistic thing in the world, but I think a city would have definitely tried to get a mass transit line across through this mountain. Um, how are we going to continue this? I don't know. Um, you know, the more I think about it, the more a tram a tram line makes sense. Uh, we can take a tram line from this station. We can get it across here. We can go along here and we can continue it pretty much through the city or through the suburbs into Umber and then back or we could get um, from here we could get it all the way and then it can go into the city that way so you know that's something we could continue or think about doing in a future episode but um, now that we have this in place I'm going to delete this oh, come on there we go uh, because we are no longer doing anything at that way this episode um, and in the next episode, we'll look into actually changing it, uh, changing it up farther. So I think I'm just going to add in a taxi stand right there. And yeah, that's the only spot we could throw on. I just think they look pretty neat. All right. And um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should add into this episode. Uh, I don't think there's anything around here we could do. Oh, I wanted to check on the uh, uh, that new tram line or pff, subway line. Uh, do do this subway line is right now called Metro Line Four. We're going to name it the Suburban Line. And, oh, come on. How is the Suburban Line doing? It has one vehicle, 23 passengers are using it. And I think we're going to have to up that to at least two. Um, especially as more people start to use it. We're probably going to need to change that up and it looks like more people are already using it so i think i'm going to just put it to four and we'll see if we need to change it up at all but um oh i need i was going to take uh, a pathway and oh no uh ground level Okay, so I was wondering if I could snap in here anywhere. I can't. Uh, a pathway could connect into here, but it doesn't seem like there's really a point, but nothing's going to be built back this way. So I think, oh, what the heck, come on. Back to three, don't want to mess myself up. Um, there we go. I'm just going to draw in uh, some lines right here. Just some walking paths from these corners. And this can be like a mini park. So these are all connecting paths. That should be fine. Um, using Move It, if we just grab 
these two nodes and we say we want it at that height it doesn't work okay never mind uh, but maybe if we grab move it here again come on move it and we just pull this one up ah fine 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 you can connect there Okay, and then we'll just do a bit of landscaping around this park. Um, like, we can get a couple trees. And maybe a nice... Oh, it's too big. Ooh. a few rocks in here to kind of give it a landscaping look um, and I gotta say that looks pretty nice okay so um, that's where we're gonna leave it today I hope you have a great uh, rest of your day and I'll see you in the next episode for episode 78 of New Lancaster peace out everyone